YouTubers, right? Little overview of my brand new ASUS Prime Z690-P. Uh, we'll show you what's inside the box as well. Now, there will be a 4K version of this uh, later. It'll actually be the unboxing. But I uh, wanted to get this one out for now. So you can obviously see I've got a CPU cooler on this, right? Uh, the intention is to obviously have a pretty decent CPU under there. I'm not going to spoil which one it is, but uh, we've got that going already. Now, LGA 1700, Intel 12th gen, LGA 1800, 13th gen, this will support those. As such, as we have our CPU cooler, we have a CPU fan header and a CPU fan optional right next to it, okay? So there's CPU fan, CPU fan optional. This motherboard has a 1x8 and a 1x4. There are no other fan headers up there in the upper right corner. This does have uh, VRM heat sinks and I believe, I want to say it was uh, 14 plus 1, Dr. Moss. Um, somewhere in there, so decent for sure compared to my ASRock Z690. This actually cost me less than the ASRock and it's way more potent. Uh, as you can see, no RAM in here right now. Waiting for uh, DDR5 RAM to arrive. So, in case you don't know it, these are not interchangeable, these motherboards. If you buy one that's for DDR5, don't try and put DDR4 RAM in there, uh, and vice versa. Cheapest uh, DDR5 RAM, 8 gig stick, is about $80, give or take. Uh, there will be some cheaper stuff in the future, most likely, but for now, you figure you're going to have to invest at least, uh, say, $160 uh, to get dual channel and, and actually have you know decent amount of RAM in this. All right, folks, where shall we start? We've got addressable RGB. Uh, I think this is Gen 2 stuff, if I remember correctly from looking at the motherboard. Here's a uh, another fan header right here. And I keep forgetting that the camera is uh, way off on this cell phone compared to where my finger's pointing. So try and uh, correct that folks 24 pin power connector to power your motherboard this comes from the power supply USB 3.0 this is uh, you know something you would use from your uh, case fan case um, this one does have a second one I believe right here so if you have four USB 3.0's on your case you're doing good with this Type C connector right here. Also, that would come from your case. TPM, addressable RGB Gen 2. Only four SATAs on this one. Uh, I believe my other Z690 folks has eight of them, but I'd have to go back and look. I don't use them anyway, so. Front panel connectors, PC speaker over here. We're ready to discuss this one. Two USB 2.0s here. More fan headers. Your comm stuff. Now, this is where you got to look at the motherboard here, folks, to figure out which PCIe is which. This is a 5.0. Great for the future. It's also compatible with 4.0 and 3.0. This guy should be a uh, 3.0 here. This next one, PCIe 4.0, and then another 3.0 at the bottom. You've got, uh, you know, this is pretty good, honestly, for graphics cards, for if you want to have multiple graphics cards. If you also want to have multiple uh, M.2s on top of the, the ones that are with this, um, this will get you there. Um, not this would not necessarily be good for somebody doing mining except for having two graphics cards you would have the one extra riser here you can't plug the uh, risers into these without uh, 
uh, gosh, I don't even know how you do it because uh, the cables will get really hot. Um, so, not an ideal mining motherboard from that aspect, but at least you could run two or three graphics cards off of it. And you can always get a PCIe ribbon extender as well uh, off of those, but this is for a vertical mounted M.2 CMOS battery right there. Obviously, if you want to reset your BIOS, we skipped over this one. HD audio right there. So, you know, not the most spectacular looking motherboard, but uh, it's got a lot of great features, folks. I will say that. Um, you'll see in the box there is a uh, heat shield. I.O. shield, I should say. Sorry. I used to work on the Space Shuttle program, so heat shield uh, was more common thing to say than I.O. shield, obviously. <laughs> um, so... PS2 connector, two USB 2.0s, display port, HDMI. Then you've got, uh, I think this is Gen 3.2, USB Type C, USB 3.0s, 2.5 gig Ethernet. And then we have, I'll probably forget one of these, but uh, let's start over here microphone, headphone, line out. Uh, one of these should be a subwoofer, a rear probably rear, if I remember correctly, and fiber optic. So this is a pretty good motherboard for, you know, if you wanted to hook this up to a stereo or other audio stuff. Let's, uh, let's open up the box, folks, see what's in there. All right, as you can see, I've already been in here. Manual. Um, you know, in some of my videos, I may have mistakenly said, you know, this thing says to... Uh, basically keep the cover on just like the previous generations I have been pulling the cover off I just find it easier with this generation past generations you know pops off real nice for the most part sometimes it doesn't but uh, for the most part it works good of course the motherboard was wrapped in that so you can tell obviously I've been through the box already get that out of the way couple SATA cables for your hard drives, driver disc, standoff, and uh, one, two screws in there, I believe. No, one screw in that one. This is like a rubber vibration pad. Some more standoffs, screws, and then the crappy looking IO shield. But uh, yeah, rather nice motherboard. I got a hell of a deal on it, uh, better than what you'll see on Amazon. So, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.